What's up my friends? Welcome back to the Drone Camps channel for some pure RC fun and action. Today I have a new RC car and I have to say this is getting kind of crazy because there has been a ton of little 1 14th scale cars coming out ready to run for you and now I have one of the cheapest ones that you can get. It's $75 ready to run which is uh, kind of amazing. It has some pretty hardcore looking components on here that look like they might handle some jumps out here. So we're gonna test it out here in the bike park again today. We're gonna do some jumps with it. I'm gonna give it a full honest review and let's see what we can do, how much fun we can have for $75. Here we go. All right, guys, you know the deal. Let's go ahead and get it dirty. Let's clear clear this tabletop. Oh, perfect flip, nice. 114th scale in the house. There's a better vertical coming this direction, so this car needs a little bit of vertical to get some real air. Let's check it out. Nice, beautiful jumps. So it can totally clear this tabletop we got going on right here. And you know, it's like so light that it's probably would be hard to damage it or pop some links off. And again, it doesn't, you know, it's not like overpowered, which is kind of cool. It's doing just fine. So, yeah, doing pretty well right now for like $75 for something that jumps like that. Not bad. It's more than the RC car that, that I had when I was a kid. So it's the car that I had wished for. Here we go. Full throttle. Oh, didn't line that one up good. Still ripping. It's a little monster. It'd be fun on the dirt track for sure. Where you didn't have rocks and everything. Uh, when there's a lot of rocks. Ooh, nice jump. Really nice jump. Loving that one. Really feeling that. Let's go ahead and uh, go over to the wall over here. Let's drive on the wall. Big high jump right there. Total flip. I may have like popped off some links during that one. Nope. There she is. Let's get some of that wall action going here on this berm. See how much control I got on the berm. Up and over. Some good high end throttle. You know, it's gripping. It's it's those tires are actually pretty good. And I'm sure this little guy will do some burnouts. Let's just try a little burnout action. Don't get too close. You get a rock in the face. Not bad. Not bad, little twister. You get some stickers along with it, too, so you can dress it up how you want. I put the orange and the blue ones on mine. Let's, let's try this vertical jump right here. This is a pretty good vert jump. You really... Ooh, nice flip. Right on top. And they give you two wings in the box, too. You get a longer wing... And I chose to go with the shorter one because I think the shorter one looks cooler. Nice. Nice recovery. It's so short that it can flip itself back over pretty easy. Wow, really nice tight turns on the berm. Come from the other direction. Oh, back in the jungle over here. Go, little dude, go. And it does say that it has like water resistant electronics on here. So I wouldn't fully submerge this one like I did one of my other WL toy cars, but this, this car could take a little bit of water. There's some out here today. So <laughs> and a little animal. Oh, off in the grass, little tabletop jump here. Full throttle. Oh, way over. Really nice. That was a good jump. It's super overgrown in here now. Sun's out nice right now. Let's do some speed runs real quick. We've got, still got a pretty good battery going, so let's just let this little guy fly. There you go, full throttle. Right now, I've got the throttle trim like all the way maxed. You know, I, I would say this thing's not super fast. This will be a good one for my son to play around with or somebody younger. It's not brushless. 
So it's, it's tame. Tame enough, but wild enough to have fun with. And you can still do jumps. But I think the best thing so far is I haven't broken it. All the other RC cars that I've had so far, like, pretty much broke them. At some point. So let's go back to the jumps. Get back in some of these vertical jumps here. All the way to the top, little dude. How's it going? Yeah, I love this jump right here. So let's go up. Let's get set up for another one. Full throttle. Nice. You know, and it's it's forgiving too for younger drivers too. Like, that's the thing about the smaller cars. They're pretty forgiving. Mainly because they don't have... You just don't have a ton of weight to them. It's not like a 110 scale where you're really going to break stuff when you mess up a jump. Especially on a rocky terrain like this. Oregon can be unforgiving. That's a nice, solid... So the CG on this car is pretty good. Um, it stays pretty level when it comes off this almost vertical jump right here. So that's, that's good news. It jumps really well. Sometimes something with a little less power really... Oh, there we go. Nice one. A little less power is just going to be a little more forgiven for your bad driving, essentially. All right, let's, let's do it. All right. Some good cartwheels. And so at this point, my review is usually, guys, like what happens is we have like some of these links in here popping off at certain points. The links, the drive links to the arms are not screwed down, by the way. Just looking a little closer. That's just a screw going through to the bottom control arm there. And I would say there's no oil in these shocks, honestly. But they're doing just fine the way they are. Nice. Still taking a beating. Nice. Oh! Landed on two wheels there for a second. Oh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it off this drop right here. All right, here we go. Let's get lined up. Send it. Oh, right on the front end. Man, I wish I could land that. So much. So much. Uh, like kind of down tilt on that drop for the bikes. Oof. <laughs> All right, come on back up. Come on back up, little dude. Don't you wish you had a jump park like this? Still, I want I want a full flip on this. Not without a cartwheel. All right, guys. So, uh, just to let you know that it, it does say that there's a brushless version of this one uh, with capped oil shocks, which is cool. Metal drive shafts and all gear, all metal gears inside. But um, this one is the brush version. You can get two different versions of it, which is cool. So this one's a $75 version, which I think is nice. Um, nice and affordable right now with the, the world crashing and the economy crashing around us. You can still have fun for a little bit cheaper price. So uh, it doesn't have a full metal bottom on the bottom like I've seen with some of the WL Toys ones. But then again, that's how they can make this one a little bit cheaper than those. It doesn't have all the blinged out parts on it. But what I saw right away was that it did have little tabs on the clips, which I like. The body clips are have tabs on it. Um, that's kind of a, a, a you know something that the more expensive RC cars do. There's the brush motor, ESC here. We have uh, Dean's connector and that, that 2S Lion pack. So uh, it's given us a pretty good runtime. Right now, I think we're, we're at least up to 15 minutes runtime on that single pack. So I think I could probably get 20 minutes out of that battery running around the park here and doing some jumps. No damage today in this review at all. So watch the other reviews out there. Um, if you want to pick this one up at the link down below, you can. And uh, use my discount code BGDavis2021. That one's still good for anything that you get on the channel. I appreciate you watching. Please do subscribe, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.